We are joined in the media center by our Pro Stock Motorcycle winner here at the Menards NHRA Nationals, presented by Pet Artner, Armor at Harlan Motorsports Park. He's back two in a row. Joey Gladstone won his first race out in Sonoma, then comes out here and dominates the competition. His first ever number one qualifier was low of every session of the weekend. Back-to-back -back wins in the first round, took down David Barron, got a bye in the second round and didn't look back from there. Uh, Angie Smith in the semi-final, and then the final round, Jerry Savoy fell, uh, excuse Eddie me, Craywick. Eddie Craywick <laughs> fell victim, I'm sorry, and uh, your mentor, yeah. and uh, you go on to win. And here it is, this is a regular thing for Joey Gladstone. Joey, walk us through your race day. Um, this, this weekend was a dream weekend. My team did such an awesome job. I, I give them so much credit. The bike was perfect every lap. And um, we kind of, we came, came out here with you know, we nobody's been here in 25 years, so data is irrelevant. Um, you just go off of other tracks, and we made a <laughs> we made a, a good decision, and it, we kind of nailed it. And we really didn't have to do much for the entire weekend. It was really relaxing, and it was really fun. It was awesome. But the, these guys, you know, we had a blast all weekend. It was awesome. Now talk about that energy, though, right? This team fought so hard to get where you are, and now are enjoying the spoils. But it it seems like your crew of four or five has become eight and 15 and 20 you're bringing on sponsors and people yeah. from all the people that have wanted to help you through the tough times yeah i mean there's definitely um you know the ogs are all still there but uh, there's yeah you definitely get you know, more more people notice you like you know well, i kind of flew under the radar for quite quite a number of years so but really the only people that know about me were the ones that followed my career earlier but yeah it's um no it, it, it's cool i love i love when new people come up and say they're new fans, it's it's great. It's fantastic. I um, you know, I love this sport. I love the people. I, I love every part of this. And um, to do it to do this with the group of guys that I got is just it's a dream come true. Talk about the final round against Eddie. Uh, I didn't mean to go double oh nine. I wanted to go like twenty um, because I figured I when you got a, when you got the bike, it, you, you you can kind of mess with your own head when you got a bike like that that's got some numbers on the competition. A lot of people say, "All right, well, I should lay up." Um, but then, you then if you lose on a whole shot, you feel like you know a dummy. So I just said, "You know what? I, the round before I went 20, and I just kind of left normal." So I said, "I just got to do that again. If I'm 20 or 30, um, if Ed goes perfect and, and beats me, then Ed and Ed, Ed deserved it." Um, but but no, I, I didn't mean to go 009. Maybe I was a little amped up. I was I was super super shallow because I didn't want to go red. Um, but it ended up working out to go 009 and go lower the round again. Um, that's a statement for my team. Uh, to, and yeah, let's open it up to members of the media. Questions for our Pro Stock Motorcycle winner Joe Gladstone. Bobby Bennett, Competition Plus. So you know, it's been said over the years, you know how ra racers or and the whole athletes thing today. Or, or you know that racers aren't athletes but today with the challenging conditions that you guys had out there how tough was it to maintain that same energy level uh, i had to drink a lot of water um i probably drank a little too much miller light last night after the number one and um and, you know i could feel it today i was a little dehydrated but the uh, i got it that's that's a shout out to the rfc crew and the safety safari for for looking out for the racers all weekend because without them um, there would have been some heat, some heat stroke, heat exhaustion down on, on the starting line and the finish line. I mean, we all saw. I think it was Justin Ashley that had heat stroke that one time. Uh, the, you know, that's it's a serious deal, and uh, for for them to take the time out of their day and sit in the hundred degree heat um, and just make sure we're all hydrated. Thank you guys for that. You know, that means the world to us. It's like stick and ball sports today. I mean, yeah. Really. Yeah. And as far as your athlete question. Um, it's not like you gotta go. I mean, yeah, you can go to the gym. The pro stock bike guys are you to try and be as light as possible, um, and which I'm not doing a very good job of that right now. And go figure, we're doing good. I get more pictures, and I look like a gummy bear in my leathers. But, but, um, but no, you gotta you gotta try and stay light, and you can go to the gym and stuff, and that stuff does help. Core strength helps and stuff, but timing is um, it's a different kind of uh, physical aspect, I guess. It's more timing. Um, you know, if you leave behind the motorcycle, you you it will show on the racetrack. So as long as you're with it, um, you can be 110 pounds, um, uh, you know, lighter frame, and you can still do this. Um, you just timing is more important. You can't muscle these bikes. You can't muscle them around. Uh, one last uh, question: uh, the the conditions of the track when you get to like a 140 degree track, is it as 
tough out there to ride and navigate one of these bikes you know like fuel guys they have fits with theirs but how, how does that relate to a bike it's a tuning challenge not, not necessarily a riding challenge um you know we you can spin you can spin the tire on a 70 degree track you can spin on a 140 degree track but it's a tuning challenge and my tuner did a phenomenal job uh cecil towner of hgp performance did a phenomenal job um you know getting us a baseline and um yeah, well, from now, I hope all the tracks are 140 now. We seem to get a handle on it. So, I'm, you know, we're ready for the cold weather. We're ready for the hot weather. And, you know, I think we got a good thing rolling. Uh, Lee Craft, Monday Morning Racer. Congratulations, Joey. Thank you. I was at, te I was at testing at Virginia, and you all made lap after lap after lap. And here you all are. You're on this roll now. Can you look back in days like Virginia and say, hey, this is where we found something, this is where we put work in, and now it's paying off? It's kind of funny you mentioned that. We actually did find something in Virginia. But, um, but yeah, no, it, it, makes, it makes all those times, this makes all those times worth it. You know, Corey and I, um, we've been doing this for, for, for four or five years now, and, um, you know, we're at the, you're, you, you're at the shop constantly working on the bikes and trying to think of different ways to do stuff. And all the testing and all the, all the money spent and all the time, um, this makes it all all worth it. It's no big deal now. Like yeah, it's kind of like you said, it's a lot of work, but it's after after you get the results, it's it. You know, I'm ready to do it. We're ready to do it all over again, all over again. But in the same amount of work because we like this. <laughs> Joey David Kennedy from National Drag Show. You had talked before about now having this success be this high at the points. Now comes with some pressure. You know, we know the version of you that's been struggling and working to get to this point. Tell us more about the guy that's now succeeding enough. How you're dealing with the pressure and what what we're going to see of you coming into the countdown. Um, if anything, you just get. I don't know about pressure. Like today, there was no, um, a lot less pressure than I felt um, in other previous finals because you, know, you know you're trying to get that monkey off your back in the first win. Um, that that's over and done with. That's it's ancient history. So it's all just about moving forward now and and making proper decisions. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. It, it's start now. It starts. It's starting to feel like my old pro street days when I was with Team DME and and we were we were very successful. We had a lot of success for a string of like five years, um, and it's it's not bad. You just um, you know, it's it's hard to get up top, but the, the you have to have a burning desire to to stay up top, and you you can, and, you know don't rest on your laurels. You know, keep working, keep on the on the right path, and. And I think we can do that. Joey, a couple final questions. Uh, you know, now you've, you've been around a while, you're a colorful character, but once you win, there's more spotlight. People pay more attention. And now you've won twice. Like you're bursting on the scene right before our most intense portion of the season, the U.S. Nationals, the NHRA countdown. What do you want people to know about you? As, uh, as you are on the scene, this racer who has been around for a while and getting his moment in the sun, what do you want race fans to know about Joey Gladstone? Um, I, I think what I would want them to know is um, that anybody can do this. Um, you, if you have a goal and, and a desire to do something and you dedicate enough time and effort into it, you know, things will happen for you. You know, there was, I mean, 20 years ago I was, I was dreaming of this and I felt that I wanted it bad enough to to, to you know what spend my dedicate my life to, to get here um, and you you know you can do it too if there's if you got kids I know I know that there's no real avenue for junior drag bikes but um, if you want to if you want to race these motorcycles get get you see if you can get mom and dad get you a little dirt bike or something learn how to ride these things um, you know yeah, race, race them if you race the dirt bikes if you want to of course I'll tell you that can be pretty painful <laughs> so but um no, learn how to ride a bike, and when you get old enough to do it, you can go bracket racing, and and eventually you can you can do the same thing. So, if you want to do it, go do it. Joey, congratulations! Thank you. That's Joe. two race wins in the NHRA.